This was once one of the largest smelter complexes in South America. For almost a century, most of the continent's minerals were processed here at La Oroya until the mining company Doran went bankrupt in 2009. Intending to get the enormous factory's chimney smoking again, a group of former workers bought the company a few months ago. This comes as great news for many of the nearby residents. Workers like us had to leave La Oroya to find better conditions for our children. So if the company starts up again, there would be more opportunities here and it might bring back progress to our town. But people know that a threat lurks behind these hopes for economic recovery. In 2011, La Oroya was labelled the second most polluted city in the world. Some people here still refuse to believe it. Listen, the pollution as you call it, the lead, if it was really there, we'd all be contaminated. We would all be mentally retarded. When copper, lead and zinc were processed here, heavy metals were constantly being released into the air. Residents remember an unbearable atmosphere. I remember that the river was contaminated. I also remember that sometimes when I went to my neighbor's house, it was difficult to climb the steps. It was asphyxiating. It stung my nose, my throat, and my eyes were burning. Fumes that were polluted with lead, sulfur dioxide and arsenic, with concentrations 10 to 15 times higher than the recommended thresholds. As you can see, everything is white, everything is burned. The mountain is burned in places because of the arsenic. If we wanted to farm here, for example, the produce would contain heavy metals, cadmium, lead, arsenic, and it would not be suitable for human consumption. This lawyer is representing 80 plaintiffs at the Inter-American Court of Human Rights. They accuse the Peruvian state of allowing the Doran company to pollute freely by pushing back deadlines for complying with environmental standards. It seems like the court is ready to give its verdict. We hope to get it by June or July or October at the latest. Plaintiffs like Pablo are demanding compensation. So this is the document of blood tests for lead, arsenic and cadmium. Like 99% of children in this neighbourhood, his daughter had lead blood levels high above the norm in 2009. Blood lead level, 24.34 micrograms per decilitre. Recommendations? Remove the source of contamination. But we couldn't leave. This is our home. The couple are also asking the state to fund their medical care. Pablo and Digna lived opposite the factory for 20 years. I have pain in my fingers, in both my hands, and quite a lot of pain in my lungs. My bones hurt too. We did a bone assessment with the Ministry of Health in 2005 to check the lead levels, but we were never given the results. 175 kilometres away, in the capital, this former doctor is recalling 30 years of practice in La Arroya. He was one of the first to warn of the dangers of heavy metals, particularly developmental delays in children. Symptoms of lead poisoning often go unnoticed at the time of contamination, only revealing themselves years later. Lead can stay in the bones for some 20 to 30 years. For example, a simple flu with a fever is enough to stimulate the bone system, which then releases the lead into the body. Hundreds of residents left La Arroya in the 2000s to escape this risk. Some of them moved to poor neighbourhoods in Lima. That's my daughter in the photo. See the lesions on her little legs. She looked much younger than she actually was. There are a lot of other children who didn't grow properly because of the pollution. Her daughter died of illness at 17 years old. Mercedes blames her death on pollution from the Doe Run Company. Those accusations in local media led to threats against her. 
The locals in La Oroya spat in my face and pushed me around. They told me I was a traitor. I left La Oroya because of the threats. But I miss my city so much. In La Oroya, the foundry still lies shut. The new buyers have said they will comply with environmental regulations, but they have not yet obtained the necessary authorizations to resume business.